Hi, in today's video, I'll explain how we can invest in US companies. Okay, and uh, for this, you don't need any separate broker account. Okay, you can invest from your uh, normal broker itself, uh, which is like I'm using Zeroda. So, I'll show you how you can invest in US companies from India. So, first we will see what is the advantage of investing in US stock market. Sometimes US stock market will outperform Indian markets which means our nifty or our bank nifty which will which will be falling but if you look at US market it will be rising up. So you can catch that benefit through investing in US companies and you all know that uh, the top companies of uh, the top companies in our world are apple facebook uh, amazon these are the top most companies and most of the people here in india wanted to invest in us companies so that they can get that advantage and uh, when these companies grow obviously their portfolio will also grow so being here being in india if you wanted to invest in US companies I'll show you how you can do it through your normal uh, broker terminal see this is also we have to do through ETF and uh, I have explained in my previous video how you can buy ETFs okay and what are the advantages of buying ETFs if you have not watched that video please watch the previous video so that you will get an idea what is an ETF is okay here I have added nifty bees and bank bees as an ETF and I have explained this in a previous video and I also wanted to uh, explain one more thing uh, when you are buying an ETF and if you see there is some fall in the ETF price which means like when your ETF is coming down and if your portfolio is in loss you can still go and average it and how to average I have already explained in this uh, in this video stock buying for investing part 2 okay if you watch this video the first one here if you watch this video you will come to know how you can average your falling stock so same fundamentals you have to apply the same method uh, while averaging your ETFs also okay so now I will delete this and I will show you how you can invest in the US companies see if you type M O N hundred, you will get this Motilal Oswal Nas Nasdaq hundred ETF, which means uh, this Motilal Oswal ETF is investing in hundred companies, top hundred companies which are listed in Nasdaq. See, Nasdaq is again it is like a Nifty, where in Nifty we have fifty top companies of India. In Nasdaq, you will have hundred top companies of US so this is the stock market this is the stock exchange of US Nasdaq okay so this will have 100 top performing companies of US I'll show you the portfolio also so here if you type MON 100 in your watch list you will get Motilal Oswal Nasdaq 100 ETF NSE and BSE you can select NSE or BSE okay here if you select NSE MON 100 you will get an option to buy and sell the current price of one MON 100 unit is 105 rupees 24 paise which means the one unit of Nasdaq this top 100 companies uh, basket the one unit of Nasdaq is currently priced at 105 rupees 24 paise so if you wanted to buy 100 ETF you need to have 10,524. If you wanted to buy 1,000 ETF, you need to have 1,5,240 rupees in your DMAT account. Same procedure, okay? You don't have to do any changes. Just select long term market order or limit order and click on buy, okay? So today market is closed, so that is it is uh, you are getting that error. So if you buy, then immediately this will be. But and after two days same it will be credited in your DMAT account and then you can go and sell all same whatever the rules applicable in ETF same way you have to trade this also because this is also an ETF okay now 
I'll show you what is the portfolios you will be investing in. So once you bought this MON 100 ETF, okay, which all the companies you are investing in, okay. So this Motilal Oswal Nasdaq 100 ETF, okay, here you can see Motilal Oswal Nasdaq 100 ETF, same. And here, if you come down, here you can see the list of companies where your money will be invested. In Apple, they are investing 11.61 percent, which means if you are investing 10,000 rupees in Motilal Oswal 100 ETF, this out of this 10,000, this 10,000, 11.61 percent okay 11.61 percent of your amount will be one minute I'll, I'll tell you the exact figure 10,000 into 11.61 percent which is 1,161 okay 1,161 rupees will be invested in Apple same out of 10,000 10.12 percent which is 1012 rupees will be invested in Microsoft. See Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Tesla, Nvidia, Alphabet, this is Google group, okay, Broadcom, Adobe. Here we all know what is these companies are and we know we use these products in our day to day life, okay, Apple uh, phones, Apple laptops. Microsoft uh, products, okay, Windows product, Amazon, I don't have to explain, Facebook, again, it's, it's very familiar, Tesla, Nvidia, Google, so all these companies are topmost companies in the world and here you are getting an opportunity to invest in these topmost companies and if you wanted to see the complete portfolio, the complete 100 stocks where you will be investing, here you will get the complete list, okay, starting from here from Apple the complete list okay the complete hundred companies here the last year is Peloton interactive INC where you will be investing 0.07 percent so if you are putting 1 lakh out of that 1 lakh rupees 11.61 percent will be invested in Apple so same way with this proportion your amount will be invested in this topmost companies okay welcome Texas there are a lot of companies all this most of the companies are very familiar to us and here I will show you this one more, uh, okay, so one more table here, Is it? just a minute, yeah, here if you see there is, there is a table where the SIP has been calculated. So SAP is nothing but uh, systematic investment plan. So every month if you have invested 1000 rupees SIP, okay, one year you would be getting, if you, uh, the total amount you invested 12,000 and you will be getting 12,104 if you invested for one year. And if you invested for 10 years, that's 120,000 rupees would have been 41 sorry 4,16,763 rupees. I'll just show you this simple SIP calculator through this how this is impact. Let's say you are investing 10,000 rupees okay and you invested on Jan 2018 Jan 1st you have invested 10,000 rupees and it has ended 1st of Jan 2022 which is around 5 years okay 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 5 years sell date let it be 20 so if you have invested 10,000 every month okay for 5 years the total investment amount is 4,90,000 okay but the final amount the value you got is 8,11,858 which is like 3,21,000 rupees profit and the annualized profit is 25.38 which is 25% of annual which is uh, more than our fixed deposits which we have it in our banks that's what the same thing has been explained here okay if you see the annualized returns it is 
more than 20%. You are getting more than 20% of annualized returns. Okay. Here. 1916. The, the average annualized returns here you can see. Annualized returns. It is more than 20%. Okay. So this is the advantage of investing in uh, US markets. And this will beat your FD returns and again since it is an ETF you can buy and sell at any time in case if you see this in a profit you can buy and sell any time and if you are holding it for a longer period let's say 5 years or 10 years or if you are investing this as an SIP as I have shown you in that SIP calculator if you are investing in a systematic plan then it will give you a very good return okay and I also explain how you can average in case if the market falls every 10% or every you you fix it whether you wanted to buy for every 10% or 5% whatever and every 5% if the market falls if you are adding then the averaging will work out and you will get your profit immediately when the, when the market reverses and uh, I, I also wanted to show you the chart of Nasdaq now we have seen the chart of uh, Nifty and Bank Nifty in a previous video how it goes up okay I'll show you the chart of Nasdaq as well okay this is the chart of Nasdaq here you can see okay here you can I'll, I'll remove all this this is the chart and if you look at the daily chart okay or if we make it a monthly view so the Nasdaq also okay this is the Nasdaq index and Nasdaq also going in an uptrend okay here you can see see there are some corrections okay you just don't worry about this corrections and all in 2008 uh, there were an uh, lemon brothers correction and in 2020 there was a covid uh, uh, pandemic for that there was some corrections these corrections will come and when this correction comes then again the market bounces back okay so if you see in 2000 let's we'll take from 2000 in 2000 the market was at the high of 5000 and again it fell down it came to 1300 but now the current price at which the Nasdaq is trading it as 15,409 rupees. It closed at 15,409. Okay, so where is 5,000 and where is 15,000? There is 10,000 points higher in 20 years. Okay, and here you can see it was it was in the here. Okay. Here you can see it is completely in the downtrend okay it did not go up only then after 2006 2007 it started going up okay it started going up rapidly so this is how the market works it comes down it corrects for three percent two percent or ten percent sometimes twenty percent also then again it bounces back and goes up so you will have to take the advantage of this in case market falls for 5% or 10% from this level you buy here in case again if it falls for another 10% you can buy here for averaging and once it reverses back you will get the profit okay I think I have explained how you can invest in US stock markets through the ETF and as I said in ETF the liquidity is high so you can buy and sell at any time you want this is same as how you buy and sell your stocks okay thank you so much